Okay, so today we're gonna be doing an intro to how to write cursive. So this is what you have on your screen. And as you can see, this is my special pen. As you can see, there's little arrows that show you which way your letters should go. So here's the example that you're gonna be looking at. And this is my example of writing them out for you. So we're gonna start with the letter A. So for the letter A, you'll want to hold your pencil as you normally write. Y'all like my pen? Look how pretty. You want to start at the very top and go back around and curve. So this is a capital letter A. Now we're going to do the lowercase letter A. Start on that tail because you have to connect so make sure that you guys are writing these as slow as possible the letter b we're going to write a letter down a line down i'm sorry excuse me and that will be singular line then go back up here it should hit that middle line and back. Now the lowercase b is a little more complicated. So we're going to start down here, go up, curve around, come back this way, and up. That is your letter b. The C's are a lot easier. You write a large C. Your lowercase C will include one of those lines. And then D, we're gonna start over here. Loop it around. Go down here, curve up, around. That's how I write my D. You don't have to do it that way. You can start with up here. You'll go this way, curve it around, loop it around, come up and that's ugly because that's not how I normally write it. But for a lowercase d, you're going to do that line, come back up as if you were writing a c, go up, around, and curve. So if I was to write all of the lowercase letters together, we're going to do a loop around b, C, a loop around lowercase d. Now we're going to do E. E looks like a backwards three. Then the lowercase e will start this way, go up, loop around. Then your F, you're going to do a little squiggly. It doesn't really matter which way you draw your squiggly. Go up, around, and curve. The lowercase f. It looks very much like a B, except the F is not as high up. So if you see, these two are lined and the F is on the bottom. Then your G, around, come back down and curve. Lowercase G.
H. Down, up, curve, and lowercase h, up, curve around, and done. So if we're connecting all of the lowercase letters, E, F, G, H, Now we'll do an I, skip the line, that is capital I, lowercase I, J, it's so like a backwards F, go up. Sorry, that's my fancy J. And go up. That's your capital J. Your lowercase J. Your K. Very simple. I like to do a little curve. And we'll go up, loop around again, and done. L. and lowercase l. So this time I'm gonna start with a capital letter and go on to the lowercase ones. So I'm gonna do a capital I, a lowercase j, k, and l. Notice how I didn't stop to dot the j. Then you go back and you dot the J. The M's and the N's are very similar. Up, retrace these up lines and curve down. So the lowercase M then N O, you're going to start at the very top, loop back around, and swoop. And we're going to do RP. You're going to go down, come back, and loop. And the lowercase p, you're going to go up and down. I like to do a little loop and over. So we'll do capital M, swoosh, N, O, P. And everybody writes cursive different, so it just depends on what you're comfortable with. Q's the capital Q looks like a two. With a curve. So your lowercase Q looks like this. Then your R, I like to give it a curve around and curvy again. R, up, around, and down. S, loop it around, and curve. Your lowercase s, T, very similar to F, give you a little swish, doesn't really matter which way you go except you don't do that extra line there. Then T, go up and around. 
I'm going to do a capital Q, R, S, T. Now we're on U, so capital U. lowercase u curve around your v lowercase v zero w if you notice in cursive everything is very curvy so there's not a lot of sharpness W, and then let's just do X. So your lowercase X would be almost the same. Then I'm gonna just go ahead and do the Y. And Z. Lowercase z is very similar, just smaller and lower. So we'll do u, v, w, x, y, and z. And then go back, put the little line for the x. Now, when you practice your name, my name is Yvette. So I'm gonna do a capital Y, V, U, T, T, E. And do a swish over my T. And you can get fancy with it. This is where your different fonts come from. 